hi good morning good afternoon actually it's now 12 18 p.m um so good afternoon everybody thanks for stopping by my name is mick if this is your first time i talk about things from fibromyalgia to my everyday life to my blogs my poshmarks my ebay shipping etc um Today I'm going to talk, talk about box information. Um, I was, I needed some smaller boxes for my Avon bottles. My mother-in-law used to be a collector. When she was done, she sent them all my way, which is perfectly fine because they do sell. Slowly but surely they sell. A few dollars here and there, but hey. Um, so anyways, the boxes I were using were like 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven and 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. Um, it depended on the priority was the 7s and then the by weight boxes was the 8s. Uh, 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. So I needed a smaller box because look how big this thing is. It was just so much wasted space. Psh, way, you know. So... I went online and I was looking up the boxes and I was just kind of like seeing all these words like I didn't know what they, like what? What is, you know, Echo Swift? I don't know what that means. Um, so I started looking into all this information and I was taking notes and trying to learn about boxes. I didn't know there was really anything to learn. Um, I thought a box was a box. So anyways, I needed smaller guys for my bottles. I went online, I got the 5x5x5s, five by five by perfect sizing, perfect, put the stuffing around it, or, you know, bubble wrap, or paper, or whatever, there you go, you're not wasting so much money on shipping, um, just always make sure you pack it, you know, so it doesn't break, that's the big thing, um, but anyways, yes, I have a lot of smaller items, and so... This is what I found. Uh, corrugated boxes means packing engineers work to meet the performance requirements of a box while controlling total cost throughout the system. Okay, so basically they do what they have to do to make it work in the cheapest way possible from what I gather. Um, and then a carton is a type of a box. And then mailing boxes, uh, boxes you can send through the mail. I think we knew that one. Uh, moving boxes. Boxes used to move from homes or offices and etc. That one's kind of self-explanatory. Echo Swift. Echo Swift means um, boxes and poly mailers that are durable and lightweight to save you money on postage. Which I believe this one here that I got is an Echo Swift box. So they're durable, lightweight, and to save you money on postage, which is, I think, what we all want to do. So Echo Swift sounds good to me. Um, single wall box. I never heard of that one before. It's a fe It features a single layer of sturdy cardboard. They are highly, highly adaptable and can be used in both professional and personal applications. So a single wall is only going to have, I guess, it's, it's, the layer is going to be smaller here, but they're still um, sturdy. So I'm guessing that that one layer is probably stronger than the other. I don't know. I wish I had all the different boxes to show you. Box shapes, obviously there's a cube, a flat, a rectangle. I don't know what other box shape. You, there's oddball shapes. There's any kind of shape you want. And then there's box categories. Um, they have business and industrial boxes. They have material handling boxes. They have packaging and shipping boxes, which is what I use. And I'm sure some of you or a lot of you. And then shipping and moving boxes. Um, pretty much if I can send it through the mail, I'll use it. Um, then there's some brands I found. A Uline is a brand of a box. Um, it's a family-owned distri distributor of shipping and industrial supplies with operations in the USA, Canada, and Mexico. So it's a pretty big company, and it's family-owned. So they obviously, 
um, you know, ups to them. They've done pretty good if they're in different countries. Um, and then obviously we, I think we all know about Duct. There's Duct boxes, Kraft, Office Depot, Packline, Walmart, Staples, Priority Mailboxes, huh? I forgot about that one. Um, hmm. Then there's Priority Mail Express boxes. There's other ways that you can mail items. You can use the uh, vanilla envelope or a poly mailer. And let me show you what those look like. Okay, so, like, um, okay, first I'll show you the, I think we all know this, this one I think is the one I always knew existed. Um, but this one you can get that are just this, or you can get them with the bubble inside. This one has the bubble inside. Um, yeah, so usually I don't use these ones though. I use the uh, poly mailer more than probably anything. Um, let's see. And then there's also a couple more bubble mailers I want to show you since we're on that. Bubble mailer. Um, and it's got the bubbles inside and it's got the poly mailer material on the outside you can use. This is a priority mail flat rate envelope bubble mailer. And it's got the bubbles on the inside. See, it says flat rate. Um, and then we got the priority mail express flat rate envelope bubble mailer. Yeah, buddy. And then we got the priority mail flat rate envelope that's just the cardboard one and um, no bubbles and you can fit quite a lot in here if the flat rates are really good if something's heavy um, they hold up to like 40 something pounds I think but I can fit a pair of jeans in here and this one is cheaper than using this one I think by a dollar or something um, yeah so hey now the cheapest one I, for what I do, is usually just the poly mailer. I don't usually use, um, or I can use, you can wrap your own bubble around and then stick them in a poly mailer. Like, here's a poly mailer. This is a little poly mailer. I actually ordered these ones by mistake. But, um, this one's a tiny one. There's no bubbles inside. The poly mailers are durable. I like these. I use these a lot. And they are probably the cheapest way to go if you can use them as far as the mailers go and here's a bigger one and yeah you can buy them in colors and designs or you can just get uh, a little bit cheaper if you just stick with this gray color um, the ones with the colors and designs will be a, a little bit more um, but yeah here's one that I did I ordered a bunch of there's actually a bunch of different designs there's like four different designs in this pack lot that came no bubbles inside strong durable and it's cute. I usually try to stick like more girly things in the girly deck. I got one with pink flamingos all over it and I don't even remember. There's like four different cute designs. Um, but yes, that is some shipping supplies um, information. Um, you can get these, uh, you can get anything that has the United States Postal Service, you can get these there for free or you can go online to their site and you can get um, shipping supplies for free. Um, this one is free. Um, all of these are free. These are free. But, uh, and the boxes. This, this is free. The priority mail boxes are free. All the priority supplies is free. You can go in your post office or you can go on their website, but please don't take advantage and use these in unauthorized ways. Please use them for the intended because if not and too many people are taking advantage, then they could start charging and that's not going to help us who use them all the time. Um, coffee. Um, yeah, so, and then I guess, um, as far as the tape goes, I love the, I know I don't got the big gun, I just got the, I don't do tons and tons of business, so 
this type of a little roller is cool for me and you just you know put it on there and go and rip it off much easier than having to cut it every time I prefer this way oh and this is my little measurement guy I measure everything with um, for shipping and anything and I love it, it just and I actually found this at the Dollar Tree in the um, line where you're checking out right there that last little end caps. Yep, and it was awesome. I love that little guy. And some um, supplies that you can use to wrap your items in would be like this brown paper. Um, I just got this one in the mail. Um, not too expensive, but it's brown paper. You can wrap your items in it. Um, I'll cut it sometimes and make like big crunches to keep things safe. Um, and then you can also use tissue paper. Wrap it in there. Make it look like you care about your items and your customers. Make it very presentable. Use, you can use the uh, tissue paper. Um, plastics. I get different types sides I try to get different sizes whatever but like say I was shipping this you could wrap it in the tissue paper and then stick it inside your plastic or you can wrap it in bubble wrap if it's um breakable or you know you need something like that and then you know fold it put it in your poly mailer or whatever you're using that way it looks like you care um, and then there's also bubble wrap. This is a big one. Um, if you can keep your children and your husband away, that so that you have some. Um, I use bubble wrap a lot. But yeah, so I just wanted to give you some shipping advice since I had all that box information. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything. I hope you learned and... I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.